Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a 2012 Kubota L3800 compact tractor, loader, backhoe. This does have the LA524 quick attach front loader, and it does have skid steer quick attach uh, with skid steer quick attach front buck. It does feature a Kubota BH77 backhoe attachment. This is a one owner machine. I bought it here local off of the gentleman. Uh, I also have a skid loader that come with the deal. Uh, very happy to own this stuff. Very nice, clean stuff. 376 hours on this tractor. Again, one owner tractor. I do have a full three-point hitch kit for this tractor. Uh, set up really nice R4 tires, three-range hydrostatic transmission. Tractor's 37.4 horsepower in very nice shape. Let's start here underneath the hood. Tractor is powered by a Kubota three-cylinder diesel engine. Starts and runs excellent. So here is the thing I like about this tractor. And everybody will appreciate this once I say this. This is a non-admissions tractor. So if you look in here under the hood with the camera, you're going to see you have a muffler. There is no regen, there's no particulate filter, there is no afterburner, which are all the same things. There is no EGR on this. This is a true pre-admissions tractor, powered by a D1803 three-cylinder diesel engine. We have just done a complete and full service on this tractor. All filters and oils have been changed, and I guarantee this tractor to be 110% the way I say that it is. Um, on the hood, yes, there are a couple scuffs right here, being honest. There is one minute little wee ding right there that absolutely no other guy would point out to you, but I am being honest here. Bucket is, the front loader bucket's in good condition. He did have a tooth bar that he sold prior to me getting this. That's what the two holes are drilled for. And yes, we did paint the front loader bucket. It was just scratched up and scraped up of uh, typical use. Um, he actually had uh, the skid steer quick catch put on after he had bought the tractor and had the original bucket, had a skid steer uh, plate put on it, but it is original Kubota bucket to the tractor. Um, standard skid steer quick catch works very well. There's no issues with that. Right here you can see, he told me he used them twice. I believe it. Uh, they have not been used much at all. That is all your three-point hitch linkage sway arms. Top link is there, draw bar is there with the tractor. So there's some money laying just right there in three-point hitch stuff. Tires I'm going to estimate to be 75%. Uh, they are Titan. Um, track loader tire is what they're called. Um, you know, in very nice shape. The rear is a uh, 15 by 19.5. And these fronts are usually like a 27, yeah, 27 by 8.50 oh by 14. Um, again, tractor is not busted up. Fenders are not bent, anything like that. We'll go to the other side. We'll pull them back here once. Kubota BH77 subframe style mount backhoe attachment. Look at this backhoe. Has a thumb on it that I believe was used only a few times. It's beautiful. 16 inch bucket. You can see their original teeth. Uh, they still uh, say Kubota on them very easily. Um, very nice. Arch style boom. You can also see here it does not have much runtime on it at all. There's no leaks. Controls are good and tight. Um, locking pins and sway pin is all there. Um, you know, very nice. Seat's nice. So, does have the folding drops. Matt, we'll go around the other side there. We'll go over controls. Tractor is a, what I like about this tractor, they're very basic. Uh, throttle, you'll see here, 376 hours. All the gauges, temperature, and fuel work. Four wheel drive in and out, high low range. Uh, you got your boomerang style pedal here for forward reverse. Brake pedals up and down for three point. PTO in and out. Um, you know, a really, really nice basic tractor in that aspect. You don't have a bunch of electronic garbage on this thing to go bad. They do use a clutch pedal on the Kubota, even though it's a hydro, which I love it. Uh, in the winter time, you don't have to crank over all that oil when you start the engine. It's a lot easier on the tractor. So, uh, joystick loader control here. Uh, again, these are a nice tractor because there's no emissions. It's an actual all but 38 horsepower tractor you can do a lot of work with. So we're going to go ahead with fire tractor up. I'm going to show you full drive works. We're going to run the backhoe for you. We'll go through all of the ranges of the tractor so you know that it goes through every gear.
Guys, I hope you can see there from the video, this little tractor starts, runs, and works very well. Um, very nice, clean tractor. Keep in mind, this is a pre-admissions tractor. In my opinion, that's a big deal. Um, I'm not going to stand here and say that Kubota has an issue with anything with their DPF. I'm running one, two, three, uh, three units from Kubota with DPF. I have no issues. But there again, um, here's a tractor that is a proven tractor that does not have that stuff on it. I personally would like to have something like this myself because I, I enjoy the simple technology that that is. It's easy to work on, it's easy to serve, it's easy to take care of. So keep that in mind when you're purchasing a tractor. No doubt, a lot of people don't talk about this stuff either, either because they don't know about it or they don't want to educate anyone on it. So, um, if you're looking for a nice tractor, here is something tractor loader, backhoe, four wheel drive, R4 tires. Uh, subframe style mount backhoe guys whatever you buy out there today buy a subframe mount backhoe people that try to steer you towards some three-point hitch you're wasting your time um, they're wasting your time uh, they're also wasting your money you want subframe so um, check out I also have a BX 25 D for sale if you're looking for something a little smaller uh, I try to follow these lineup of backhoes a little hard to come by nice clean stuff and again this is an original one owner piece sold new here uh, in a local Kubota dealer uh, very, very nice, clean piece of equipment. Um, again, one owner, and I have a skid steer here that has 293 hours on it. So the man did take care of his stuff, just fell in some tough times and had to liquidate. So, um, again, any questions, let us know. We'll be glad to help in any way that we can. Keep in mind, our stuff is fully serviced. It is not aerosol overhauled uh, or and uh, camouflaged in some way. We service our equipment so we know what we have whenever we sell it. So there again, this thing I guarantee to be 110% the way I say it is. Uh, it's a very nice, clean piece. So if you have any questions, 814-658-3066. Please check out our website, www.marksupplyco.com. See us on Tractor House, Machinery Trader, and on eBay at MarkSupply88 is our username. Thank you very much for checking out Mark Supply Company. As always, have a great day.